This is Redbeard on this adventure. I'm headed to Wingding. So I live in the Nashville area, uh, just south of Nashville, and I am headed to Wingding. I am almost to Paducah, Kentucky, and at uh, that at that juncture, I shall take uh, Highway 60 all the way across. Looks like a pretty good road. Looks like it's mainly a four lane. Spins about 65, so it should be a fairly relaxing drive once I get out of this mess. Um, I think a lot of it's messy. There's some construction just south of here, or I guess east of here, and down to one lane. So in that one lane traffic, I also got some good rain showers. So it, uh, it rained on me pretty good as I'm headed out of here. But here I am, uh, cruising down the interstate, looking for my exit to uh, head over to Springfield, Missouri for Wingding 42. I've been trying to get to Wingding for a few years. I, I first learned about it uh, shortly after I got my gold wing. I got my, my gold wing, this Woodstock, I got it in uh, 17, late, late 17, like December when I got it. And, um, and then it wasn't shorter thereafter I, I joined, well, I guess it was earlier than December. No, December is when I bought Saunas. I saw this in December. I bought uh, Woodstock in August. So I think I learned about Wingding about the same time I got my bike. I started because I, I got my Gold Wing and I knew about the Gold Wing Road Ride Association. I have no idea how I knew about that. Um, and I joined that up pretty fast. Started hearing about wing ding, wing ding. I was like, "Ooh, that looks pretty neat." I wonder what it's about. And then, in, I believe it was 18, is when um, all the YouTubers I was following made it to wing ding. So the Chris Caliente, Memphis Mike, all of them, uh, they're at wing ding. And just seeing all the footage from there, I was like, "Man, I gotta get there." So then, 19, I had, I had planned to go, um, but. Uh, Things didn't work out very well. The company I worked for uh, let me go, and that was a bad situation. And so 19 uh, was up in the air, but I ended up moving to Atlanta in 19, a little bit before the uh, the thing. But I just I just didn't have the funds for it. Uh, although I did sign up, uh, I think I signed up before I was let go. You know, I always sign up early. Um, didn't have the funds to go there and stay, even though it wasn't that far uh, a way to go. Um, and so then 20, everybody knows about 20. Nobody went on 20. That's why I was back in Springfield. I was supposed to be in Springfield in 20. I wanted to go then. Couldn't go then. But now, here I am. I'm on my way. So I'm not there yet. Can't celebrate, but I am on my way. So excited to be on the Gold Wing. Right at the wing ding. I uh, look forward to some uh, clearer skies. But I'm very excited to be where I am. So I haven't ridden my gold wing that much in some time. Um, been sat for about a year with COVID. The way that worked out is uh, my family was still up in Oregon. I was living in Atlanta. COVID hit. I rode from Atlanta to Mississippi. And spent a couple of weeks with my parents to see what was going on with this COVID stuff. That was like in March. Um, and then at the end of March, uh, they cut my hours back. So I, they reduced my hours by 40%. And so I decided, well, if I, my hours are cut back, I'm, I'm headed back to be with my family. So I, I left the motorcycle because I had no idea what I would encounter. Uh, with COVID and all. So I, I rented a uh, small SUV. I think it was a little uh, Nissan Murano, I think it was. No, it wasn't a Murano. Rogue. It was a Nissan Rogue. I rented that, and I set it up where it had everything. I even bought a little bucket with a toilet seat. Had uh, a lot of water and packed all my food and uh, 10 extra gallons of gasoline. And I just really didn't know what I was going to encounter along the way. Um, so I did sleep in that little... Um, my little SUV. It was comfortable enough. I'm a little tall for it, but that's okay. Um, but I never had to use that little bucket toilet. Um, there are rest stops. They're still open all along the way. Uh, I didn't have any problem with the gas stations along the way. Uh, so it's really 
pretty uneventful. I, I might have been able to take my motorcycle, um, but it was going to take more planning for uh, either trying to figure out a hotel, which was iffy at that time, right at the beginning of COVID, you know, or do some camping. And I don't know that I had enough of my camping stuff with me. Um, so I just, I got the... I got the little rogue and went cross country and left my motorcycle at my parents' house and uh, wasn't able to come get Woodstock until after we moved moved here. So I switched jobs. So third third job, right? So I was let go from one, um, and then I got this other one in Atlanta, and then I landed this amazing job in Nashville. They just needed me to move to Nashville. I was like, not a problem. Uh, so I set that up to move to Nashville. Um, and so after we moved here in December, uh, it wasn't too long after that, that I, uh, I rode Saunas, which is my little 300, it's a CBR 300R, I rode that down Nash's Trace, uh, to my parents' house, and then I rode Woodstock back, um, but it wasn't, shortly after that I realized I had a, a pretty bad fork still leak, so I didn't do much riding after that, and, uh, so I got the fork seal, uh, fork seals replaced just a couple of days ago. Yesterday, I tested everything out. Um, it's also, I also put on these new uh, Rivco foot pegs, which you can watch the video on these Rivco foot pegs. And then I also installed this Rivco uh, trailer hitch and the Rivco, um, I forget exactly what it's called, but the little rack that goes on the trailer hitch. So I got that installed as well. So a lot of stuff I had going on. And uh, my wife and uh, my four youngest kids were coming back from Oregon. They, they drove. That's another adventure altogether. Um, but they were driving back, and they had some problems in Salt Lake City. So I'm like, okay, well, when they get to Paducah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to meet them in Paducah and escort them back. That way I know they're going to make it, and I can help them if there's any problem. Um, so I compared that up with well, my motorcycle. I haven't ridden it much. It would be nice to ride it a little bit before I, I head over to Missouri. Uh, so I, I did uh, 150 miles up to Paducah and 150 miles back uh, without any problems on the bike. Fork seals are holding quite well. Um, so everything is going really well on the bike. Um, I do I do need a new rear tire, um, and I do need to do an oil change. I think I got a little bit of uh, mileage left for a oil change, but and the oil's been in there for over a year. So time to get that changed out. But I was uh, very happy to get on the bike when I did my first little around the block after changing the fork seals. I can't tell you, I just I felt giddy just getting on the bike um, and riding just a little bit. Just made it feel so much better. Uh, I've been I've been working hard. We bought a uh, we bought a house uh, that needs some work. So between regular work and working on the house and just taking care of this other stuff, it's been a, it's been a very busy time. So I'm starting to feel a little burnt out on everything. Uh, so wing thing comes at the right time for me, so I can uh, I can get on here and uh, relax, find myself again, get a little centered as I cruise down the interstate and the highways. And hopefully, by the time I come back on Sunday, I'll be a whole new. I will say I am definitely looking forward to meeting people. Um, I haven't had an uh, opportunity yet to go to uh, a Gold Wing meeting uh, here in Tennessee, which is uh, pretty sad. When I moved to Georgia, uh, within, I mean, I, I got to Georgia on a Friday, and Saturday morning I'm, I'm meeting a new Gold Wing group. Um, that is how important that was to me. Uh, it's still pretty important, but I didn't have family in Atlanta at the time, so my Gold Wing group is my family. Um Especially, especially back chapter I in Oregon, um, they just they're just such a blessing.
Well, this is Redbeard. Until my next adventure, see you on the road.